Okay, so this tutorial is an introduction to the Bream Simplified Building LCA tool. Uh, this is a copy that's, uh, that's not been used yet, direct, downloaded directly from the Bream website just now, and so I'll just open that up and we can go through some of its features. Okay, so this is the main calculator sheet. You can see there's nothing uh, showing at the moment. Uh, so we'll start up here at the top. Um, throughout the tool, actually, uh, it's worth noting that you have a lot of um, contextual help. So here it will tell you um, what that particular cell's for and what you need to do. So in this case, we'll go for an office building. Um, so this this table is 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 the uh, is a list of all of the different constructions that the building comprises of. Um, so first of all, we'll look for let's say uh, an external wall construction and put that in there. So we go to the construction library over here. Just make sure that this list is filtered to all. Um, only to construction suitable for offices. So by doing that, I've just unselected the yeses and nos and said yes, just the building types, uh, the construction suitable for this building type, and OK. Again, this is this is explained in this contextual help here. Uh, and then over here, we said we want external walls, so I'll do the same just for external walls like this. Um, now I could choose any of these just as an example so I'll choose that one so here I've, I've simply selected a cell and selected copy a um, number of ways of doing this you right click the mouse and click copy or you can do control C on the keyboard or you can go up here onto the uh, ribbon and select copy there, all the same thing. Um, and we return to the calculator tab down here, select the first cell here that we uh, need to put the information into and paste it in. So I'll select paste up here. That could again have been a con control V on the keyboard or right click and paste here like so and the uh, calculators looked it up and found that it gets its external wall the units are meters squared and there's a description and all of this is just uh, exactly the same as, as what you would have had on the table here the library table uh, there's an option to put a user name for the construction in here so let's say for example we put uh, the west elevation just helps to be able to differentiate when the list gets quite long uh, and then this is the measurement of that particular construction in square meters so in this case it'd be uh, a measurement taken on the west elevation um, of you know, the area on that elevation that would be this particular construction so let's say there are 50 meters of that construction and so as soon as I put that in you can see over here on the right that that's equated to 21 eco points in total and then the calculators uh, working out the total for the building up here okay so now we'll go to back to the construction library and find one or two other ones in here. Uh, it's quite handy uh, to use these text filters to uh, search for something that uh, quicker than just looking through the list. So let's say for example we use the text filters contains option and we'll put in here uh, let's say limestone and we'll see how many come up okay so 
we've got a few here with limestone uh, and that's who we wanted to we found the one that we want we pick yes back over here paste it in and say that this is the east elevation 20 square meters like so eco points coming in totaling up here um, and then you can carry on doing that until you've covered the whole building it's important to make sure that uh, all of the uh, constructions for these um, element types are included so that's external walls windows and external doors upper floors internal walls and partitions uh, roof frame and stairs and ramps uh, it's worth looking at the in, within the 2018 uh, bring you construction technical manual map one issue to see exactly what is included in the scope of the building a LCA and what's not um, while you're doing this because it does vary uh, in some cases as noted here okay so I'll pause the uh, the demonstration here and carry on filling in some more details on here and then restart it and then we'll see how this tool can be um, read by the results submission tool okay so I've added in some extra um, constructions here this clearly is a very simple building and uh, I've put no thought into the design whatsoever it's just purely for uh, demonstrating this tool um, so there they all are with the uh, construction um, IDs pasted in some description there some quantities put in here according to the units um, and then the tools found these things and populated those and calculated the eco points over here on the right so just to pause here for a moment and have a look at some of the things you can do so here you can again filter so if you wanted for it to for example to examine just the external wall items like this then you can you can focus on those and the total up here will only show the external walls um, the, uh, the upper one shows the total for the whole building all the time so that's something that can be done um, you can use the same te text searching uh, functionality as you can on the construction library here as well if you wanted to search for certain things again at the moment I haven't got much in here so it's not too difficult to to analyze without that kind of thing um, but uh, it can be useful once the uh, spreadsheet starts to fill up a bit um, okay so that's that completed um, another way to analyze the results is here on the chart so that's showing uh, some of the uh, well a summary of the, the impact of the building uh, and that that kind of information and numerical information on the first tab can help to um, the design team to look at ways to reduce impacts on the design uh, while they're you know designing during concept design stage um, and feedback to the client for example and use it in that way it's not entirely just for compliance with Bream it can be used for as a design aid as well the final tab is doesn't require um, very much user input uh, apart from up here at the top uh, this is before you you're going to use it within the results submission tool this has to be completed and you simply identify uh, what um, option uh, or benchmark this is for so it's all described here in the blue box and just zoom in so you can see clearly um, I'll select for example superstructure option one so that's the that's the that's what this design is going to be for it's option one concept design superstructure uh, again the con contextual help here um, will will aid you in knowing which one to choose option name let's just say uh, Steve's best uh, date created 
needs to be today, say 31st, sorry, 1st of May 18. And the tool has completed that one. Building reference. So this ideally would be a bream assessment reference, or if not, the address of the building. Um, I'll just make up a number for now, just for demonstration purposes. So now that's completed, and this, by the way, is uh, will be read by the results submission tool in exactly the same way as the option data files are read. Uh, that's why the layout looks looks quite similar uh, in the same way as those uh, which I've demonstrated in a different uh, tutorial you can you can filter the information here and and analyze the data if you if you want to if you prefer that to using the main calculator tab but this this tab is largely just for the the uh, results tool to to uh, read the data from okay so that's the that's the option data file completed, ready to go. All the information's in there, so I'll just uh, save that like so. Close. And this is the file we just worked in. Now, as explained in a separate tutorial, it's important that the file name, the correct file names, are used. So you'll remember that we selected that it would be the concept design stage superstructure option one from the menu that we just entered into within the tool itself. So I'll put the same file name in there for this one. And we will move this out. Of course it said that it's uh, the same, so let's just cancel that. I'll change the name instead first and then move that out here. Uh, mustn't open the results submission tool while all the files aren't present and correct, as explained in a separate tutorial. So I'll now move this back in, which is the one we've just done and we'll open up the results submission tool which will now read it. Okay, so here you can see that it has indeed read that file. Um, so the results are coming through there and we can even open the file like this and there you go so that's the one we just worked on and it's currently reading this information and with them both open at the same time in fact you can make changes to to this file uh, on the fly so you just keep an eye on that 0 0.29 UK points down here and go back to the tool and Let's make some dramatic changes in here just for demonstration purposes. So now it's gone down to 0 0.24. So that shows that you can have them both open at the same time and uh, and, and do that. Um, so just save that to make sure it's the current one and close. Now that's the that's showing a demonstration for the um, option appraisal. But I think what we'll do is close that. We can save that. And let's say we're only doing benchmarking for the, in this particular project. We weren't doing any option appraisals. So the one that we're looking for is the concept design superstructure benchmarking file which is this one here so I'll just rename this one temporarily copy the sorry that's the uh, that's detailed design leave that one this is the file 
copy that and put in a change the file name and then the superstructure option appraisal one we put in that file name and then put the blank file that we had earlier on back in to make sure that the results submission tool works fine and then when we open this you should find that it's now the benchmarking part that's working and picking up the results and there we are so that's gone now because we've changed it to this one like so 0 0.24 so that's the um, a, an introduction to the Bream Simplified Building LCA tool and how to get the results in there to come through into the Mat1 submission tool. I'll just close this down. That's the end of the tutorial.